Hey everybody, my name's Kids Coding, and welcome back to day two of Bootstrap. So this is the second day of the seven days of Bootstrap upload. It's going to be an upload streak. I somehow wasn't able to manage these videos um, ahead of time. I wasn't able to record them. So hopefully I'll get it out soon. But this is the second day of the seven days of Bootstrap. Um, you can check out the first video. It'll be in the link in the description below. You can go down there and check it out. Um, there isn't really an order, but it is well advisable to watch them in the order of the days. So if you want, and it'd be highly recommended that you watch the first day before you watch this one. And also watch the recap so that you're fresh in your mind before you get started. So that's pretty much that. Let's um, get started. So let's make let our title bootstrap alerts. Just to review the titles, what we'll show on the tab right here. I just want to change that so it doesn't confuse you guys. But anyway, let's talk about bootstrap alerts. That is the whole purpose of this video. So what alerts are is that they're simply a way to give a pop-up message. It's like a notification. So it gives a pop-up message. They're created using something called the alert class. So first we need our body, like always. And then we need our container class. Like that. After that, we then need to add an alert class, which will essentially give it an alert. After that, we need a color, and this will be done with the alert and then hyphen and the color. So it, um, yeah, it's a dot hyphen color. That's how you include the color in any. It's the same way how you include the text color, background color. Same with the alerts. You put an alert and then a hyphen and then whatever color. Um, I have a video uh, about the colors. Um, danger is red. Um. Cyan is info and like success is green and warnings yellow all that kind of stuff But um, I just remember one color and that one color is red. I always use that one. It's just my favorite color But anyway along with that We're done and then let's just close it right there. So from there all we did is that We just created an alert with the color red. So it's going to be a red alert. That's essentially what we've done so far after this, all that's left to do is that we need to add some text. So let's say this is an example of an alert. And then from here, we're good to go. And we're going to make our first alert as shown right here. This is an alert. It's an example of an alert. So that's pretty much what an alert is. It gives a pop up message. So yeah, that's pretty much that. We can make it a link. So if you wanted to make this text a link, what you would have to do is that you would have to use the AHREF. Um, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's pretty much the code on how to make a link. I'm gonna put the link around the whole text, but you can do part of the text by starting the link um, the link element or the link tag um, in between. So um, wherever you want the link, you start the tag. So um, that tag is AHREF and then um, make that a hashtag like that and then after that um, what we need is an alert link because what we're trying to do is that we're trying to make a link so let's close that from there and then we're good to go after that you see here we have the slash a move this to wherever you want the link so if you want the link on the whole text and then put it at the end, like right here, like that. So let's save it and then let's come over here and reload. And as you see, it gives a link and when you click on it, nothing happens because we haven't programmed it to click the link. But yeah, it's just essentially going to create a link that you can click on. Well, it doesn't work for me because I didn't program a specific link. But that's pretty much how that works. Um, you can also do some, um, you can also do it, like you don't have to do it from the start to the end. Let me get rid of that, and then let me copy and paste that. So what you can also do is that you can do it in between like this, and then and then you can end it like right here. There we go, and then let's get rid of that over there. Get rid of this too. 
and then let's get rid of the other splash egg right here. So what I'm just trying to show you is that you don't have to do text across the whole thing. You could do part of it, like right here, now you're going to see it's part of it. Let me just put a space here so that it will be a space like that. So you can do a link on part of it, you don't have to do it on the whole thing. But yeah, you just start the link on whatever, before whatever text you want, and then end it after whatever text you want. Just like that. After this, we can then um, create an X, like an X like this right here, that will essentially close the alert. But if you refresh it, it will come back. So let's get rid of this link that we created, like that. And then let's get rid of this too, like that. So what we can do is that we need to create something called a button because what we're doing is that we're essentially going to click on it and it will close. So we need to program a button. So we're going to do button type. We're going to make it a button because we're going to click on it. And then we're going to make a close class because we're essentially wanting to close it. And then after that, we just do a data dismiss. And then um, alert. And then I think from there we can just do at times. That just means um, the number of times. Um, and then I think we're good to go from there. So that just means you can close it many times. Oh, what did I do there? And then I think we're good to go. So let's just save it and then let's reload. And as you see, it gives an X. The X isn't oriented properly. That probably has something to do with Google, but yeah. So now when you click on the X, it will go away. But as you see, um, when you reload it, it'll come back. But um, when you actually look at it, like if you actually see the motion, it just goes away in an instant like that. If you want to, if you want to, you can do like a specific motion, like um, fade or show. So like what I can do is that I can make it fade. So let me go back to the, the alert class, like right about here. It was like alert, alert, danger. What we need to do is we need to add an alert dismissible. Dismissible. Like that. Let me just quickly save it and see what happens from there. It's going to just close it like that. So then what we need to do is that we need to add a fade and a show like that. So what's going to happen is that when we reload it, it's going to close it in a fading motion. And that's it for this video. That is how you do alerts in its simplest way. So this was another short video. I want to make it short, quick and easy so that y'all can understand. We still have five more days to go. so. Let's keep this going. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to go down there and hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna upload for five more consecutive days, so be sure to hit that bell on and stay tuned. And follow my socials down below if you're interested, and I'll see y'all next time.